everyone welcome to my channel meditating human i am tiffany and today i wanted our focus uh to be on our meditation to be on the power of self-talk um and so we all have that loop going in our heads and it's either going to empower you and make you feel wonderful about your day or you know it's going to bring you down and not only make you feel terrible about your day but then kind of having you go through life with that what's the point attitude you know what i mean that real that destructive constantly being in despair um being depressed that's what that negative talk that negative inner voice that's what that's what that perpetuates okay that's how you kind of keeps you in a rut and on both sides of the coin because if you have positive self-talk and you're constantly listening to yourself and you, and you are um positively reinforcing you know good behaviors you're positively engaging with yourself then yeah it'll make you feel like the king of the world and have you go through your day with hope and potential opportunity and this perspective that yeah you know things are going to work itself out and i'm doing what i need to do to ensure that things work out to to my best interest right A lot of people like, well, the self-talk is neither here nor there because I'm just thinking it. It's not like I'm going to act on it. Some people don't realize that constantly hearing that, constantly verbally abusing themselves has an effect on them. That the way they engage with the world the way that they engage with life is based upon what they're thinking whether it be positive or negative because then those thoughts now are manifested outwards either by what someone else is giving back to you or what you're putting out there because the thought even though it's a thought you're not verbalizing it. And this is a lesson that, you know, like I've had to learn. And in the beginning of my spiritual journey, um, you know, I was just more kind of, just kind of getting the mind under control, still thinking what I was thinking, um, getting the self-talk under control. Um, and then it came to a point where something was just like, you know, you really need to control your thoughts. Um, I would just have the conversation with my guides all the time. Like, yeah, but you know, I'm just thinking it. And so I'm not really worried about it. You really need to control your thoughts. Never understood it until one day they elaborated because it never dawned on me to ask why. Why do I need to control my thoughts? So it, it, just one day they just gave me the information. It's like it thoughts are energy. And so even though you're not saying it, you've given it life by thinking it. And you're putting that energy out there. So whether you say it or not, it's neither here nor there. And I'm gonna tell you when, when I got that message, it freaked me out because Lord knows what's going on in my head. And so it's just like, ooh, what am I really putting out there? Because I know that not every thought that I have, till this day, by the way, not every thought that I have is the best thought. And so now, like, when I think about something and it's something negative, I'm like, ooh. Like, I catch myself, like, okay, so we need to, we need to back up and we need to fix that and we need to change it for something positive and then put that positive energy out there because at the end of the day, positive energy way more powerful than negative energy. It's interesting how a lot of us um, 
naturally fall back into that negative mode, right? And so actively having to work towards staying in a positive role. God bless people who are, are who are naturally positive, are naturally optimistic. God bless those people. I am not that person. I understand that I always I tend to lean to the to the negative side of things. I, I am more of a pessimist. And so for me, I have to actively work towards that. So having my affirmations out in the open, I, I like I said before, I listen to affirmations when I'm sleeping. Um, just being conscious of what I'm saying and what I'm thinking. And yeah, it takes work. Um, I don't know if it gets easier, has not gotten easier just yet. Um, sometimes I can go on cruise control, you know what I mean, mentally, and I'm not necessarily thinking anything negative. Um, I'm, I may be thinking something positive or something that's just neutral. Um, which is fine because even if I'm at the point where I'm just kind of thinking something neutral I'm like, okay, at least I'm not thinking anything negative knowing that the ideal situation is that I'm thinking something positive But I would say Look at what you're saying to yourself Whenever you say something to yourself Write it down write it down for a few days if you are so inclined and then go back to it and just take a look and you will see how you're treating yourself because we may say like, no, I treat myself fine because that negative thought, so thought is there, that negative self thought, that negative thought is there and we just dismiss it. We don't necessarily, because we're looking at it like, okay, no, I always say positive things because we want to think we say positive things until we write it down and we go back to it and like, oh my God, like, what am I doing? Like, no wonder things are not working out. No wonder I, I, I feel the way that I do because look at what I'm saying, look at what I'm doing, you know, and, and then looking at that and then understanding how that impacts your life because there's always a ripple effect. There will always be a ripple effect. And then understanding what the root cause of that is is also very important because of course once you deal with the root cause of something then you can really deal with it you can and, and really and let it go as opposed to you're holding on to it and it's just living it's just living and repeating in your head and now physically you're dealing with the same thing over and over and over again so understanding what the root cause is and then moving forward and dealing with that. I am positive. I love me. I am gentle with myself. I am kind to myself. I praise and appreciate me. Until next time, dear hearts, love and light. Bye.